Oklahoma. I've been from uh, Alabama. A lot has been said, and those of us who serve on the Armed Services Committee have been watching what's been going on with a lot of distress. I think it's important for us to understand how we got into this mess to start with. If, by his own budget, we have a president who has given us over a trillion dollars of deficit each year for four years, totaling $5.3 trillion. So that's the mess that we're in that we're trying to get out of. But all that time, the ones that have not been properly funded has been the military. The first budget that he had, he cut out the, uh, the F-22, the C-17, the future combat system, all these systems that were so important, and it's gone downhill since then. So as you project the president's budget out, as it's been said, we're talking about reducing about, uh, about a half trillion dollars. Now comes sequestration. That's over and above. A lot of people don't realize it. They think we're just talking about the half trillion dollars that is going to be cut over a period of time. Why? And I'll use one of the charts that was actually was put together by the senator from Alabama that shows where this stuff is coming from. Everything seems to be exempt except the military. Uh, food stamps, exempt, 100% of them. Medicaid, 37%. Uh, uh, and only 10% of the DOD base budget. So why is it that we are found ourselves in a situation where that's, that is the problem? One thing, only other thing I want to mention is this. I have every reason to believe, because I've heard from people in industry, that the President of the United States is trying to get them to avoid sending pink, pink slips out until after the November 7th election. I would remind him that we have something called the Workers' Adjustment Re Retaining, Retraining and Notification Act, the WARN Act, and that requires any of these companies prior to sequestration on January 2nd to uh, within 60 days, which would be November 2nd, to notify people of their pink slips. But this is what I'd like to remind the people, and that is that they don't have to wait. It can't be just if they want to do it today, they can do it. I think it's imperative that the people, the workers who are going to be laid off work as a result of the Obama sequestration, that they know in advance of the, of the November election, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that that happens. And I, I would yield the floor. Mr. President, uh, 